Hello, welcome to Bree Sauce. This is Claire. In today's video, I'm going to talk about Amazon FBA. The first time I heard about Amazon was 2018, when I quit my full-time job from a trading company which worked for big brands. After that, I started to work for Amazon sellers. During these years, I always received an email or people asking me on WhatsApp. Can you suggest me what kind of products to sell on Amazon and how to find the profitable products to sell on Amazon? Well, I cannot tell you the exact products to sell. Why? It's, you know, there are old saying, one person's meat is another person's clothing. As different people have different situations and advantages, like the time you can spend, the money you can invest, and the different location. There are no have universal formula for Amazon success, but they do have some things in common. In today's video, I'm going to talk about the six products that are worth to selling on Amazon, especially for the beginners. Let's jump inside. First, we'll talk about the one thing that happened recently. The wholesale tons of teetotal. You can see everywhere like TikToks, Facebook, or Instagram to talk about these uh, toys. But on uh, April 27, they, they bring a lawsuit to sellers who sell this kind of toys on the e-commerce platform. In this way, other sellers who sell this kind of titles cannot sell anymore. They need to take down their listing. Protects with patent or copyright. This is very easy to understand. For example, Disney, Avengers, Star Wars. And last month, one of my customers want me help them to buy smoke grider set. Let's have a look at all about the products. Did you find any problems? The shape of the products is the samurai. And I also tried to find this product from the Amazon. We can see that this product is still actively being sold on Amazon by some other sellers. It may be photo, restrict NATO, or maybe not, who knows. Despite all the products, hand on the next time look about the price. The cost of products is less than $2. And this also is a very small unit, don't cost too much shipping fee. And I'm going to sell for 19.99. So the profit is quite good. I know why that some people uh, know this is illegal, illegal. They still want to jump inside. If you don't want your listing get taken down or worse, you will, your account gets suspended. Just stay away from the products with patent or copyright. What's the difference between a restrict category and a restrict products? You may hear this a lot when reading about what cannot be sold on Amazon. Restrict categories require you get approved from Amazon before listing products in a getting category. Sellers will have to get approval to sell in categories like jewelry and uh, topicals to ensure their items are legal and safe to sell to the public. Restrict products are items that cannot be sold at all on Amazon unless they meet specific conditions. Restricted products are listed within restricted categories. Now maybe you understand the difference between the two. We'll get back to the restricted products that you cannot sell on Amazon. 
and uh, paying attention here, Amazon's uh, standard on restricted products and categories is not uh, black and white. So check from the Amazon Central Center carefully before you start to sell something. Check first that which products cannot sell on Amazon. They have the detailed list. The competition on Amazon is brutal. Many Amazon sellers don't sell their own one or a kind items. They simply resell items they have purchased from wholesalers or supplies in bulk, just like a retail gift or other shop. The issue is, if you can buy it in bulk, then many other people can too, which creates a large degree of competition for the same items. This has led to many sellers creating unit products with the help of the companies that will put a sellers brand name on a existing products and make some customizations to the product such as the metal kernel, fabric, or uh, formulation changes. We call it a private label products. Here I will show you one example. If you want to sell toilet paper on Amazon, you can see that the competition is quite huge. You almost don't have the opportunity to join. If you make a little change like the toilet paper with printing, you can say it's much easier. Well, I'm not to tell you that you can sell this item. Here, just to give you one idea. I'm not kidding. Yes, that's correct. When we sell one product on Amazon, we want to earn money, right? If we sell one product, it sells very good. Every month you sell a lot, but finally you find you don't get any profit or less profit. Why you still want to sell these products? This also includes the online situation. Products with a bad rank that means no sales, no sales equal no profits. When you watch the video of Amazon, you may see some advertisement of the Amazon mental. They jump out to say like, look at this product, it sells $9 and Amazon, and it just cost $1 to buy from China Alibaba, and the Amazon sells thousands of this item one month. Ah, you can calculate how much you get for one month. This is just for one product. Imagine that you sell two, three, or more. Blah, blah, blah. Let's go to the Amazon to check products with no cost to see how is the real situation. So if I were this Amazon seller to sell this product, here is a exact breakdown of all the FBA fee for this particular item. Selling on Amazon fee is 0 0.53. Uh, this 0 0.53 is the Amazon referral fee, which is always 15% of the sale price of your items. Because this item total price is $3.20, so it's 0.15.3. You only pay this 15% uh, when one of your item sells. Fulfillment fee by Amazon is 9.97. This actually includes two fees. The fulfillment fee for picking and packing items and a monthly storage fee for using one of their fulfillment centers as a warehouse. This phase vary based on the size and the shipping weight of your products. As the ruler is very small, uh, we may not concern about this. And we can see here you only have one dollar for the rest. Then you still need to concern about the product cost, the shipping fee from China to USA, CPC cost, and also every month the shop fee 
Okay, this is a quick overview gives you a good idea of what Amazon FBA is and the face associated with sending your items. Uh, by the way, the Amazon Scout calculator is for free. You can download on your computer when you check the cost for your products. If you don't know how to check the shipping fee from China to different Amazon warehouse, you can also contact with me. Bring Sourcing will provide a free service for this. For baby products like toys, clothes, you need to have the certificate of CPC. For electronic products, you will most likely need some type of UL, CE, FDA, or similar certificate for it, depending on what your electronic products is. I'm not saying that you cannot sell the products which need a certificate. As we know, there are 12 million products that sell on Amazon. For beginners, why you choose a difficult one to start? As I mentioned above, competition on Amazon is brutal. When you sell on Amazon, the only purpose for you is to get profit, win money, right? And in a long term. So, choose the right product is quite important, especially for beginners. The last tips is don't sell the glass ceramic products. It's a non digital transportation from China to US or UK or any other Amazon warehouse. The products is easy to get damaged. I have one customer who sells this kind of products. You know, he get a lot of bad review and finally he gave up these items. Okay, I hope this video is helpful for you. If you have any questions, you can leave your comments below. I will always reply you quickly. Don't forget to subscribe and like me.